Thus, internet helps you to make your everyday life easier and it doesn't affect anything, even if the real purpose of books and why it's being published. Good day everyone! I'm Carl Fornas and I'm here to talk about if it's true that Google will be the death of books. Google is a tool to search for information about someone or something on the internet using the search engine Google. Since we're now in globalization, people tend to use such high technologies to gather new information. At most libraries, the hand-type catalogs thumbed by generation of patterns have been supplanted by electronic indexes accessed via PCs locally or over the web. Now that the contents of books are searchable on the web, people prefer to use Google. Internet has evolved since past decades. Back in 90s where internet is just a screen version of books, whereas there's only a image and text. But then, internet has already text, images, videos, audio, and flash that may use in any purpose. That's why people common reason prefer Google because of its conveniency, and people see it as the easiest way accessing information. I went to Metro Manila College to ask some Metronians which they prefer in terms of education, books or Google. Um, para sa akin, mas ang um, ginagamit ko ay Google kasi mas ano siya, nagko-consume lang siya ng malit na oras. Unless, unlike sa libro, kailangan ko pa maghanap dun ng, ano, ng mga pages. Tapos, nagko-consume siya ng a lot of time. And kapag sa Google, isang search ko lang, ando na lahat ng mga data. And sa bilis ko nagagawa yung assignment ko. Pero, mas maganda pa rin kapag sa libro kasi mas reliable yung mga nasa libro. Kasi sa Google po, nandun na po lahat ng information. Isa-side nyo na lang po yung question, tapos makukuha nyo na po yung sagot. Yung sagot. Ang problema lang po ngayon sa, sa Google, yung mga source po parang ma, hindi po legitable yung iba. In internet, almost the information is given for free. And all you need is either a phone, a laptop, a tablet, or a PC to store and view those information. Google was founded since 1998 and has a rapid growth that covers worldwide. It offers services designed for work and productivity like email, scheduling and time management, cloud storage, language translation, mapping and navigation that commonly used by people in their everyday life. Google takes 90% of search market. This means that most of the people are using it. And most of the schools and universities are using Google products, programs, and philanthropy to help them improve the learnings and develop the skills of the students. Google has an extremely fast web browser where it loads and displays pages very quickly. And also, it has very basic and simple design, making it easy to use. But then, it uses a lot of space in your memory. However, some people still do like books because of its credibility. If they read in libraries, they find it as monuments to thoughts and intelligence that imbue their self with enlightenment and wonder. Also, for some people, books are part of their everyday life that is packed with knowledge insight into happy life, life lesson, love, fear, and helpful advices. As a conclusion, both books and Googles are important for us to learn and grow. It doesn't mean that the other one is boom, the other one is being set aside. It just people prefer using such things that is for them is more convenient and worth it. So, so that there's no any problem in using either Google and books as long as we use it properly and make it as an instrument for us to learn. And again, I'm Carl Cornia saying that Google is a simple access to digital books that will not make us forget the books.